Good afternoon everyone, so today we're at a Ford Transit 2015 model and this is the 2.2 diesel and it's a crank no start uh, and it will never start, I'll tell you the story. We were at a Ford Transit with a tragic backstory. <laughs> the guy thought he would put some cheap diesel in it and it caused utter havoc. I'll let you see the filter. So here's the fuel filter we took out. Oh, look at the state of that. And you see the gunge in the bottom of the bucket. So we changed the filter and we're trying to get the thing to start, but it is no go. <sighs> when you're, you're uh, cranking it over, you can feel pulses coming out of the exhaust and we can start it. It will start using easy start, which is no a great idea. Just put a light mist in. So we know if it starts with that, it will run on this. So we know it's in time. And we'll have fuel coming out the injectors, but we're worried that the injectors are gunged up. But we've got this little gadget I got off EB ages ago. And I can actually, if we press that, we can hear the injectors click. So if you just hit that wee button, my man. Oh, I'll take them in here. So you hit it. Ah, uh, you hear it click. Right. So it's, uh, they're blue in. That's it. You can hear that injector click. So that means there's an electrical integrity, but we already knew that because we put our scope on these injectors to see if we had a pattern, and we do have a pattern. So the only thing it can be is there's no any diesel getting down through the injectors. But you would think that the fuel filter would have done most of the, get rid of most of the contaminants, but my friend was saying if it's the wrong fuel, it's not getting any lubrication in it. And that can damage them as well. But we'll go and check all the rest of these injectors, see if they'll click. Right, here's something we're trying for giggles and laughs. So <laughs> this is unusual, but can you work this out? We're lying with the car sitting here. We, we've cranked over and we can build up pressure, no bother at all. And we're still sitting at 237 bar, right? As you can see there, there's a fuel rail pressure sensor there. If we disconnect that, it defaults to 2000 bar. So that... Pr that real pressure sensor is good. And if we open the injector, the pressure plummets, so we know that gets rid of the pressure. So what we're trying, we're trying a little gizmo here, and we're pulsing that, and is it, is it on ready? Right, let's see if it's, let's, well, I'll press the button. So you hear that clicking, and to me that pressure should plummet, and it ain't. So there's no any flow through these injectors. And that's my problem. So when we crank this thing over, it says it's got a pressure relief control valve and it's desired fuel pressure. Then fuel rail pressure enable engine sync. That goes from no to yes. A fuel rail sitting at one volt, which is usually idle. And this is, this is holding on to the pressure. We're currently sitting at 233 bar, and if you, so I'll get Lionel to crank over and you can watch it. Right, right, Lionel, go for it, my man. So you can see there, everything's there in order to make this thing start, but it ain't happening. Roddy was using the old but easy start there. Hey, that's a nice noise. <laughs> no, there's no flow through the injectors. And let's see what our fuel pressure is staying at the new. We're up at 300 bar. So we go up to over 400 bar. But that, that that's plenty of pressure in order to make the thing start. It's no doing it. You can see a relief valve opens. That must be to keep the pressure under control. Now, I'm, I'm, I think I'm right in saying that the relief valve is on the pump. The pump's at the side here. It must be because the inlet meeting valve's on the pump, so... Is it? So you can see there, the two valves are on the pump. There's one at the front. There's one at the back. So it's the... The pump it does all the controlling the pressure on this thing. It's no in the rail as I originally thought it was.
but the thing will still no start. Oh. So just in order to prove this, and it's keeping pressure, I've never seen this before, Roddy's going to crack one of these injectors off the rail and you can watch this plummet. All right, my man. There you go. The pressure has dropped to zero. So that rail's holding pressure. Now my thinking was, I didn't think it was meant to do that. I thought it was meant to drop pressure immediately so you didn't rip the timing, the teeth off the timing belt. But this one doesn't seem to bother. <laughs> so that's just dropped all pressure. Go and crank it, Lionel. We'll see how quickly it builds up. No bother. Nothing. So you can see it built up pressure, maintains its pressure. And it, it doesn't dissipate its pressure. <laughs> I need to look at another transit. But I ain't seen that before. Right. So in order to prove this out, we'll put on the Veris. It's always a bad day when you have to put this thing on. <laughs> so my friend's going to crank over and we'll see if we get a scope trace for the injector. Right, my man, go for it. There we go. So, so I just stopped that recording. So you can see that we've got a scope trace here. We'll try it again just to, our scaling's not right. So we go, I think we, oh dear, hit the wrong button. Go 50 volts. Is it that button or something? Ah, it's no matter. 100 volts. You change your time. 10 milliseconds. Right. Right, Lionel. Just hit stop, Roddy. Right. What's that you need? So that they hit this in. Oh. oh, we've missed it. <laughs> no matter, you've seen that we had a scope trace anyway. But we'll just do that again. Do that again. Oh, for flip's sake. Aye, that you need. Right, Lionel. Right, stop. That's it, Lionel. And we just hit come out. You can see our. So that these injectors are pulsing fine. So the only thing that could be is out of synchronisation, but it's no because the very fact it starts with easy start. There's no any diesel going through these injectors. That is our problem. We we'll crank it again, Lionel. Just just change my scaling, my man. That'll do. That'll do, Lionel. So that's, I put it to 200 volts this time. Aye, there was. Alright, so you can see that's peaking up to 140 volts. Yeah. 